Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Mark. Today we'll be drawing a box of popcorn for the movie theater. So grab yourself a sheet of paper, a pen, and some colored markers, and let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is in the center of my page, I'm just gonna draw this line. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. I have a little bit of curvature to it. Then we're gonna go out to the left, like this. And then we're gonna go out to the right, like that. Then as you come up, we're gonna get a little bit wider up here. So we're gonna go up and just slightly getting wider. Then we'll do the same on this side, come up and we're gonna get wider like that. Now I'm gonna start drawing some popcorn shapes. And these are like sticking off of the edge of the box. So we'll just start just drawing a few shapes like this. We'll do one over here. Like that, these kind of just like hanging over. And then we're gonna see the edge of the box right here. So I'm just gonna draw some zigzags. And we're gonna draw some zigzags in this way. This is like the top of our box, like that. And then we'll draw some more popcorn shapes. And these can just be like random shapes. Now, before I finish the rest of my popcorn, let's just go back and finish some, some of these stripes on our popcorn box. So we're just gonna draw a line like this, and I'm just gonna draw a few more that kind of come down like this. All right, now on this side, I'm gonna have a circular shape with popcorn drawn in. So I'm gonna do a round shape like this. Okay, and then over here, it's gonna be a P. And then there's gonna be an O. And then another P. And then the corn will be a little smaller. So we'll do a C, O, R and then an N. I'll just kind of fill in those letters, make them a little bubble style. And then we'll draw like a ring around this, just like that. And then I'll draw a few more stripes down towards the bottom, just like that on this side. And I'm just gonna go and just make sure that I have this center one kind of highlighted here. And then same for the back and bottom. So just kind of thicken those lines just a little bit. And then we can go and just finish off our popcorn shapes. And then once you have your popcorn, you know, the amount that you like, just add a couple more little detail shapes. You have a little bit of gaps. Okay, now my popcorn is drawn in. I'm gonna go and use some markers to color this in. Well, I hope you enjoyed drawing this video with me. I had a ton of fun. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I do videos every weekday, just like some of these right here that you're seeing right now. So until the next one, I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.